What's up, Deadbeats? Dan Brock, the Deadbeat Super Affiliate here, and in this video, we're gonna talk about why you do not want to be a perfectionist when you're starting your first online business. All right, this is kind of flip-flopping the whole um, you know, school grading system. If you ever went to school, yeah, well, of course you went to school. Um, you know, everyone wants you to get the A's. This, in reality, the real world, or, the, or at least how it is online, the D students actually do way better than the A students. This is kind of like the whole philosophy behind philosophy. This is kind of the whole um, philosophy behind why you can be a complete deadbeat and still make a lot of money online or on the internet. All right, so let's cue the brand new intro video and we'll get started. All right, so you just saw the new intro video. I'm gonna uh, talk about this in a second. First, let me get down to what I want to talk about in this video, which is why it's important to not be a perfectionist on everything you do. All right, if you've ever, um, you know, waited till the last minute to start a school project, you know, back in your school days, remember that feeling that you have where, you know, they got a project due tomorrow and you haven't, you put it off for whatever reason. This is, I did this every single time. Um, I put it off till the night before that it was due and then you're, you're left all night kind of trying to cram and get it all in. Um, this is actually the way you want to approach doing online business, or at least getting started with, uh, started with it. Reason why is because, now I've done this before too, I've done this tw the last uh, two years I did this and I really screwed up. Um, I wanted to make my new project, one of my you know, projects I was working on, completely perfect. I wanted every step to be Perfect. Now, the th and it did turn out to be perfect. Everything was right. But the problem is, is that I launched the product and it got shut down on PayPal. I mean, for whatever reason, PayPal decided to shut it down. And I wasted two whole years of effort trying to perfect this thing when I could have just got it to the D or C level and known within a month or two that, you know, it wasn't going to work. So I wasted a whole year and a half or more trying to perfect this thing. And I didn't even, I wasn't even able to sell it. And when I look back, this is kind of strange, but the stuff that I did the least amount of work on or I put the least amount of effort on actually ended up being more profitable than the stuff that I tried to, you know, get an A plus on. All right, so I want you to keep that in mind. Approach everything you do from now on to as, you know, getting it just good enough to get it out there and seeing what happens. I mean, the reality is, is that maybe one out of every five things that you do is going to be profitable when it comes to starting an affiliate marketing business, selling your own products, or whatever it is that you're trying to do online. All right, so keep that in mind. And at this point, uh, oh, let's talk about the intro video. I forgot about this. So here's a quick little story. Um, two, three weeks ago, I had the original intro video made for the you know the Deadbeat Super Affiliate TV channel. Um, if, you, if you've seen the previous videos, it's that like blue high energy, like da -da 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 -da. that video. Um, at the time, I was like, this video is great. But two or three videos in, I'm like, mm, you know, this doesn't really quite match the whole lazy robe vibe that I'm going for. So at the time, I was like, man, I got to get the, re the intro video redone. But you know what? I was like, I've done this before. I've been in this situation before. I either stop and wait two weeks to get a new one made or I just keep rolling, make a few more videos with what I got. And then meanwhile, I'll get the, you know, the intro video that you just saw. Uh, made while that's going on. Now the benefit of this what is is that I didn't stop in my tracks waiting for one thing to get done. Well, I just kept moving forward. Um, you know, my mentality was like, okay, maybe it doesn't have the perfect intro video. It doesn't quite create the brand that I'm looking for, but at least there's something out there. At least I have some videos getting views. I'm starting to get feedback and I can know whether or not people actually want to listen to me <laughs> here on YouTube. All right, so uh, just keep that in mind. I don't, I don't really know what that has to do with you. I just um, wanted to give you just a little example from my own my own perspective here. All right, so if you like this video, please subscribe to this channel. I'm gonna be releasing new stuff every single week. I'm gonna aim for two to three videos a week, maybe more if I, uh, you know, jack myself up on some coffee or something. So subscribe now. Also share this video with your friends. This just helps get the videos uh, more traffic and helps me able to keep up the momentum with the channel growth. Also, I want you to comment below if you're really getting into this stuff, I want you to comment below and let me know what you're gonna do today to get a D. All right, forget the whole A plus thing. Tell me one thing that you're gonna do to get yourself to the D level with a new project that you're working on. All right, my name is Dan Brock for Deadbeat Super Affiliate and I'll see you around.